Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, nobody saw this one coming. Uh, we were all convinced this was going to be some sort of rainforest, Amazon River, tropical animal pack coming, and <laughs> nope, we were all completely wrong. We are getting the Wetlands Animal Pack coming April 12th, and this has probably the most interesting and possibly questionable assortment of animals since the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. So what we have coming to us is going to be a, a very diverse and unique roster of animals. So as you can see in the trailer, we are getting the Capybara finally. Uh, everybody's wanted the capybara, it's been data mined, we knew it was coming. This one was one, if they didn't give us the capybara in this pack, the whole community was gonna riot. Well, we got it. So, and it looks adorable, absolutely gonna be the flagship animal of this wetlands pack. Yeah, just wonderful little adorable rodent from South America. Uh, we love these guys. So up next, uh, one that I never really thought was ever going to come to Planet Zoo, the platypus. Uh, not at all common in zoos uh, anywhere. I, I believe San Diego Zoo has one, or has a couple, and that's about it. They don't really do well in captivity, but as we saw with Southeast Asia, with the proboscis monkey, Frontier is not afraid to give us animals that are not really common in zoos. So we've got a platypus coming, which is fantastic. Something to add to our Australian sections. I know people have been requesting this guy a lot. So we're getting the platypus. Uh, we're also getting the Asian small clawed otter. Finally, we have been wanting another otter. A lot of people have. The Asian small clawed otter is the most common otter in zoos. Popular as pets in Japan. Absolutely adorable, playful, uh, live in big groups. Excellent, excellent addition to this pack. I can't wait to see more of them. We do get one tiny little glimpse of them in the trailer, but not enough. We want to see more of them. And then we are also getting the spectacled caiman. So going back to South America, we're getting another caiman. This one is a quite a bit larger caiman than the Cuvier's Dwarf caiman that we have. Awesome. Yeah, another another water animal. I, I have no complaints about the spectacle came in. Now, after yesterday's live stream, I was convinced we were getting a spectacled bear. Obviously not getting a spectacled bear. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll learn to love the caiman. I really have no complaints about it. Um, another water habitat animal is great. We need more of them. The next two... Well, the next couple ones are a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're getting the red ground crane, which... Great! We need more ground-dwelling birds. We need some cranes. We need anything like this. So, the addition of the crane is absolutely fantastic. No glimpse of it in the trailer at all. Um, hopefully, so when they put up the poll, what animal do you want to see first? Let's vote for the crane, guys. I'm voting for the crane. I want to see that crane. Then, following the cranes, we are getting the Asian water buffalo. The wild version of... They, they had to specify because there is a domesticated version of this animal as well. But we are getting the wild Asian water buffalo. Uh, the screenshots that they have of it are absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. Um, kind of an interesting choice. Probably not the choice I would have gone with, but it does add another large bovid to the game, which we didn't have before. Uh, we only had the African Cape Buffalo, and quite frankly, they're, they're kind of showing their age a little bit. Uh, these ones look excellent, so another addition to our Asia sections of our zoos. Awesome. Uh, the last habitat animal is probably the oddest one uh, in this, uh, at least the oddest pick, which is the Nile Lechwe. It's an antelope, lives in the swamps and wetlands of tropical Africa. 
Uh, they're very pretty. They're very uh, agile. They're they're very elegant. Not super common in zoos that I'm aware of. Um, again, we only get a little glimpse of them running through the mist in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, okay. Again, not something I would have picked. Uh, but, okay, awesome. We have another African animal. Um, again, why water buffalo and uh, lechwe when we've been requesting so many different animals? Okay, cool. And then as our exhibit animal, we are getting the Danube Crested Newt, which not really sure what that is, other than I know what a newt is, but I guess the Danube Crested Newt is from the Danube River, which I think is in Europe, but I'm not sure. So basically it's a riff off the fire salamander, which is fine. Um, again, kind of an odd choice when there are so many other things they could have gone with there. Uh, it could have been some other type of turtle. Hell, I'd have taken a western pond turtle, you know? Um, Okay, cool, we, we, we're getting a newt. In addition, we are also getting some enrichment items to kill with these guys. Uh, the cafe bars are going to be able to use the hot water tap, which uh, apparently this was data mined, so we kind of knew this was coming. Uh, we're gonna get a small underwater feeder and the underwater buoy and a natural water jet, which will be, that will be quite interesting. So if we're making like little volcanic hot springs type settings, we can have our little natural water jet instead of that really kids play area, technicolor one, the plastic one that we have already. Getting a new time scenario in the Patanal in Brazil should be interesting. Um, looking forward to playing on that one. Uh, I know I've, I've tried to make several patinol esque exhibit blocks previously, mostly based on the one they have at the Houston Zoo. Uh, so that'll be a fun map to play on. Uh, we're getting some behavioral changes coming with update 1.9. The bathing behavior obviously is going to be used by the capybara as well as the Japanese macaque. And the platypus will be getting the small burrow as uh, one of its abilities. So in addition to our meerkat prairie dog with the small burrow, the platypus will be able to use that as well, which excellent. So that is the rundown of what is coming for us on April 12th. So we've got update 1.9, which is the free update, has a whole bunch of good stuff in it. And then the DLC, the Wetlands DLC, so we're getting eight animals total, seven habitat, one exhibit. Looks awesome. Um, it, it's so left field of what I was expecting that I actually have no idea what I'm going to build for it. I'm going to have to figure that out in the next few days. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I expect, as they do with every DLC, that we'll be seeing some uh, reveals coming um, for each of the animals here in the next couple of days. They usually do one a day on their social media. We'll be covering that here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Go in-depth into each animal, what it needs, where it lives, and take a look at it and compare the uh, in-game animal to its real-world counterpart. Uh, I love doing that, so that will be quite fun. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Uh, Comment down below, let me know what animal you are most excited for. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.